Hello and welcome to uh, the Psych Board meeting for Berwick, Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. The board is present minus Tom, town manager, town clerk. Uh, let us stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's good to see a crowd tonight. Yeah, big crowd. <laughs> First, we have the approval of our meeting minutes for March 13th. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Terrific. This is going to be a quick and easy list here. Let's mm -hmm. see. We have no uh, public for public comment. We have no public hearings, no department, no, no reports of committees, no department reports, no appointments, no unfinished business. Town manager's report. What happened in the last six days, James? I heard back from our traffic engineer, Sebago Technics, who informed me that the intersection here for the future intersection of Sullivan Main Street and Sullivan Street, it meets the warrants for an all-way stop if that's something that we wanted to do meaning coming in from this way there'd be a stop sign at, at the intersection and then coming in um, from Sullivan this way would be a stop sign as, along with the existing stop sign at the edge of um, Main Street coming into either Sullivan or Eleanor so um, as it's the concept, it's a working concept, but it seems like what's going to happen is the median island will go away and it'll be replaced with some sort of intersection. Um, it is up to us if we decide to do a, a it would be a, a, a three-way stop. Um, the benefits of that would be it'd be more pedestrian friendly. Also, it would reinforce the one-way condition. So when you're stopped, you'd really have to think about and completely ignore signs and really have to go down. Because so, that happens a lot. The obvious, the drawback would be you would add some seconds to the commute. So that's kind of the push and pull of it. No decision need to be made, but there's just some considerations that are in the works. What's their expected timeline of being on that portion of the street? Um, there's no definitive timeline. It's still kind of a conceptual. It's not it's not um, essential for the shorter term. It's like a, long, a long range and needs to be addressed. So uh, at this point, I would estimate probably at some point next year. Because I was going to say one thing we can always do too is throw it out to public interest or put a public comment on it just to see what the oh, general yeah. public would want. We'll, we'll, def know, we'll definitely get some public just, comment on that. Should we put up some right? drawings maybe during the election for people sure. to look at? Sure, sure. definitely. Yeah. Just yeah, ideas either, of hey, what's being yeah. thought of. And please things. weigh in on what you what you think or yeah. yeah. Yep. Sure. The major drainage project is scheduled for August. So this is a drainage project that will close School Street for two days during the construction to get a, a stormwater pipe from the edge down to the Salmon Falls River. That's a major project and it's on schedule for August. Only the section by the edge, though, right? It's yeah. It goes from the edge across School Street and and Sawmill Hill. What I mean is just the section of School Street. The, the whole of School Street is not going to be stopped. Be, be blocked off. It's going to be just that portion there. Just that. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you probably divert people like it at Cumberland Farms. Cumberland yeah. Farms. Yeah. Okay. Just that. Thank you. Yeah. Just that. Yeah. Yeah. The section of. Pretty much in front of Kenny Bunk Savings to Cuffman Farms. That's what I thought. Yep. It's good to be specific. There. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, get, gonna get emails. How can you close down the whole street? Speaking and of, all the businesses on School Street are aware of the closure for August. They will be. Okay. They will be. Yeah. Some some are aware, um, but there will be a notice, and we'll have our LED signs out there. Okay. Speaking of School Street, uh, DOT is planning on completely reconstructing School Street from Logan Street to just about the town line. So okay. it's four miles. They're gonna, it'll be completely dug up and rebuilt. The state's doing that. state's doing that. When? 
They have it scheduled for um, either 2026 or 2027. Okay. And I think they'll, they'll work on alignment of Old Pine Hill Road in School Street and Old Sanford Road in School Street. So just more teeing it up, improving the sight lines. Uh, Berwick for a Lifetime is hosting a Lunch and Learn April 2nd at 1030 at the library. The topic is understanding Alzheimer's and dementia and effective communication strategies. And lunch will be provided. And the last update I have is the paving of the Memorial Field courts is set for early May. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Are there any questions for the town manager? Who's, uh, who's doing that? The, the Libby Scott. Libby Scott, okay. Terrific. We have no select board communications. I uh, need those more. I haven't signed it yet, but you can help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Just three today. We have a payroll warrant, number 68, March 21st, 2024, in the amount of $86,938.43. And accounts payable warrant, number 69, for March 19th, in the amount of $107,850.29. And accounts payable warrant number 70 from March 19th in the amount of $102,838.87. I make a motion that we pay our bills. A second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Bills paid. All right, new business, town bench dedication. This is a plaque uh, dedication for a bench. Um, from the Legion and the Auxiliary. The location will be by the bus stop across the street. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be just off the sidewalk. It'll probably be on pretty much between our right-of-way and the edge right-of-way, but they're supportive of it. Um, even talked with them about potentially adding a bike rack along with it. The language on the plaque, in honor of those who served, all gave some, some gave all. American Legion Post 79 and Auxiliary Unit 79. Sure. Are you looking for a vote to approve? Yes. Yep. Um, question. What did they, what did we, is it 750? It's a, a, a thousand. A thousand. Yep. Okay. A thousand. And this is for one bench, one dedication. If, um, there's options if if um, anyone wants to share a bench, they can have two plaques on one bench for 500 each. Yep. But for everyone, it's it's a thousand. So, anyone else that would like to dedicate a bench is a thousand dollars. Get a hold of me. Okay. Any other questions? I'll make a motion to grant the bench dedication from the American Legion and Auxiliary. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Terrific. Next, we have our warrants for the annual meeting. Can you grab a cup of water before you read on this? Uh, I grab a water, <laughs> water at home. Um, all right, so we're going to go through this. At the end of each one, I'll just say yes, and those who are in favor or recommending it will vote yes. Anybody who doesn't, keep your hand down, and we'll... Proceed to no's and that states. Article 3. Shall the town vote to adopt the proposed amendments to the land use ordinance, Exhibit A, attached here to? Yes? All right. Article 4. Shall the town vote to adopt the proposed amendments to the subdivision regulations, Exhibit B, attached here to? Yes? Article 5, shall the town vote to adopt the proposed updated floodplain management ordinance in accordance with the M with MRSA Title 30-A, uh, subsection 4352, Exhibit C attached hereto. Yes? Article 6, shall the town vote to use up 
to $3,571,558 from the estimated revenues to reduce the amount to be raised by taxation in fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1, 2024. Yes? Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $667,459 for general expense account to fund a variety of general expenses which are not easily classified from an accounting perspective under other departments, including a variety of required insurance premiums, audit services, legal services rendered by the town attorney, PSAP, streetlights, and traffic signals for fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes? Article 8, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $492,486 for the town administration account for fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes? Article 9, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $397,992 for the town clerk account for fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes? Article 10, Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $267,862 and appropriate the sum of $65,000 from the TIF fund account for the total of $338,312 for the planning account for the fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes? Article 11. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $113,600 $54 for the assessor's office account for fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes? Article 12. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $193,000 for the town hall account for fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes? Article 13. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 for the general assistance account for fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes? Article 14. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $2,244,912 for the police department account for fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes? Article 15. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,503,000 $973 for the fire department account for fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes? Article 16. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,359,610 for the public works account for fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes? Article 17. Shall the town vote to authorize the expenditure of all revenues received from the State of Maine Urban Rural Initiative Program for fiscal year 2024-2025 for road improvements as authorized by the program with unspent balances to be carried forward each year? Yes? Article 18. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $631,813 for the refuse disposal account which funds the operations of the Burwick Transfer Station? for fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes? Article 19. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $288,870 and appropriate the sum of $190,000 from the existing recreation revenue account for a total of $478,870 for the recreation account for fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes? Article 20, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $382,951 for the Burwick Public Library account for fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes? Article 21, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $480,979 for debt services to cover this appropriation for fiscal year 2024-2025 which begins July 1st, 2024, and as authorized by the passage of Articles 31 and 32 at the 2016 Annual Town Meeting Election, Article 5 at the November 6th, 2018 Referendum Election, and Article 29 at the 2021 Annual Town Meeting Election. Yes? 
Article 22. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $40,585 for the com community agency appropriations account, which will be used to make contributions to and at the request of the following outside agencies or purposes. Coast Bus Service, Memorial Day, American Legion, Seacoast Shipyard Association, Caring Unlimited, Pope Memorial Humane Society, and VNA Cornerstone for fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes? Article 23, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $232,744 for the annual fire protection, i.e. fire hydrant costs, for fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes? Yeah. Article 24. Article 24, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $300,000 for fiscal year 2024-2025 and authorize its use for road, bridge, and sidewalk construction and repairs as well as town parking lots and public ways and including expenses for curbing, drainage, and engineers, engineering fees when required with the funds to be used in conjunction with the State of Maine Urban Rural Initiative Program and with unspent balances to be carried forward each year. Yes? Article 25. Shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $35,000 from unassigned fund balance for fiscal year 2024-2025 and authorize its use for a fuel control and pump replacement at Public Works and with unspent balances to be carried forward each year? Yes? Article 26. Shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $500,000 from unassigned fund balance for fiscal year 2024-2025 and authorize its use for road, bridge, and sidewalk construction and repairs, as well as town parking lots and public ways and including expenses for curbing drainage and engineering fees when required with funds to be used in conjunction with the State of Maine Rural Ur Urban Rural Initiative Program with unspent balances to be carried forward each year. Yes? Article 27, shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $105,000 from the undesignated fund balance for fire department aerial replacement savings, personal protective equipment, command unit, mobile and portable radios, and hose replacement for fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1st, 2024, and place the amount in the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes? Article 28. Shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $119,050 from the undesignated fund balance for the police department vehicle replacement, building improvements, equipment, and technical improvements for fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1st, 2024, and place the amount in an account in the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended? Yes? Article 29, shall the town vote to authorize the select board to enter into a purchase and sale agreement with landowners and to purchase the property using Public Works Capital Reserve Funds for the purpose that allows the expansion of the Public Works Garage? Yes. Article 30, shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $75,000 from the undesignated fund balance for recreation capital improvements, which begin July 1st, 2024, and place the, this amount in the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes? Article 31, shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $135,500 from the undesignated fund balance for clock tower uh, railing replacement, masonry, re masonry restoration, and waterproofing, new security system replacement of the front steps savings, and bathroom improvements at the town at town hall, which begin July first, twenty twenty four, and place this amount into an account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes. Article 32, shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $10,000 from the undesignated fund balance uh, undesignated fund balance for a transfer station building reserve, which begins July 1st, 2024, and place this amount in the account established for this purpose 
for those spent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes. Article 33. Shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $50,000 from the undesignated fund balance for CACS, Kittery Area, MPO, MDOT, Main Department of Transportation, Road Programs, and Community Development Block Grants for fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1st, 2024, and consecutive fiscal years for grant matching funds to be placed into this account and carried forward each year. Yes? Article 34, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $10,000 and authorize the select board to hold it in con a contingency account to and to use it to meet unanticipated expenses and emergencies that might occur during fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1st, 2024, and with unspent balances to be carried forward each year. Yes? Article 35, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $21,365 for economic development purposes for fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1st, 2024, and place this amount into an account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes? Article 36, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $28,000 $260 for digital communications, branding, and signage purposes for fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1st, 2024, and place this amount into the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes? Article 37, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $10,000 for emergency management purposes for fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1st, 2024, and place this amount into the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes. Article 38, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $19,310 for the Federal Stormwater Program, which implements state and federal permitting requirements for discharges from municipal separate stormwater sewer systems, MS4, for fiscal year 2024-2025, which begins July 1st, 2024, and places amount into the account established for this purpose with unspent balances to be carried forward each year until fully expended. Yes. Article 39. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $70,000 for Berwick Community Media and appropriate $123,425 from Comcast franchise fees and donations for a sum of $193,425 for fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes? Article 40. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $21,634 for debt services in fiscal year 2024-2025 as authorized by the passage of Article 37 at the 1997 Annual Town Meeting, which will fund one half of the cost for repayment of the Water Department bond issued by the Federal Rural Development Agency for the new water treatment plant in 1999. Yes? Article 41, shall the town vote to authorize the use of interest only from the Lena Clark Trust Fund. The interest balance as of June 30th, 2023 was $13,478, which was the close of the prior fiscal year when the, there are major repairs or maintenance needs at the town hall. Yes. <clears throat> Shall the uh, Article 42, shall the town vote to appropriate the sum of $250,000 from undesignated fund balance to reduce the amount to be raised by taxation in fiscal year 2024-2025? Yes. Almost there. Mm. Article 43, shall the town vote to dissolve the existing firefighter contingency reserve and appropriate the sum of $30,000 to re reduce the amount to be raised by taxation in fiscal year 2024-2025. Yes. Article 44. Shall the town vote to charge interest on unpaid taxes at the rate of 8.5% per annum and to set the date when taxes committed for fiscal year 2024-2025, July 
uh, 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2025, become due and payable as of as October 16th, 2024, and April 16, 2025, with said interest to be collected after October 17th, 2024, and April 17th, 2025, and allow the tax collector to accept prepayment of taxes prior to the tax commitment dates. Yes. Article 45. Shall the town vote to set an interest rate of 6% as allowed by the state state as bleh, as allowed by state law as the rate to be paid to taxpayers who pay amounts in excess of amounts finally assessed and authorize any such interest paid uncollectible taxes or abatements granted to be charged against the annual overlay. Yes. Anything else? No. Sure. All right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Check. Nice job. Yeah. No, I did have one question here. There was one thing. <laughs> Estimated revenues. Okay. Yeah. There was just two reduced taxation ones. I just didn't know. By the end of it, I couldn't remember what the first one said, so I had to go back. <laughs> All right. We have no quick claim deeds or installments, no abatements, still no public or public comment. The public is always welcome to come. Um, we have an executive session for the discussion of personnel and real estate acquisition. We will be offline for that. We will not be making any decisions. There will be no votes, so we won't be coming back. Um, before we leave for executive session, is there any other business non-agenda items that people wish to discuss? Okay. Then I'll make a motion that we enter executive session. Under Title I, Subsection 4056A for discussion of personnel, and Title I, Subsection 4056C for discussion of real estate acquisition. Second. All those in favor? Good night.